In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the AMA Keyword Generator version 5. So what I'm going to do here is sort of quickly go over all the features so you can get started really fast on using this software. Now the main concept and purpose of the software is to find highly profitable keywords and very targeted keywords for whatever niche you're working in when you're um, selling as an Amazon seller or you're working as an Amazon affiliate. So let's get, let's get started. So what it does is in this new version, what we've done, we've integrated um, several different search engines for some of the biggest e-commerce websites in the world and that is the Amazon, eBay, Target and Walmart and the keywords come from the drop-down suggestion um, keywords from each of these websites. Now for example if you head on over to Amazon.com and you type in the word barbecue and a space and the letter A you're gonna see all these keywords that are being suggested down here. Now the same thing goes with eBay, Target and Walmart and so this is where the keywords are coming from but what are these keywords well what Amazon is telling you right now if you type in the word barbecue in the letter A the next most searched keyword in their entire network for amazon.com is barbecue apron and this is available in position number one and then the next most searched keyword is going to be barbecue aprons for men and then accessories for men so on and so forth Let's go ahead and try that. Let's say your niche is actually barbecue. So type in the word barbecue and you can type in one seed keyword per line. So let's say you want to barbecue and grilling. That could be another possible keyword in that niche. And then you want to select the sources that you want to get the keywords from. Go ahead and click go. And what the keyword generator tool is doing now, it's going to each um, network. You can see down here extracting from Walmart uh, UK or sorry Amazon UK it goes quickly through here and it's appending the letter of of the alphabet each letter to the seed keywords and getting all the keywords from each source and in addition it's telling us the position more more specifically the average position of that particular keyword within this source so the average position for all the keywords found from the seeds is one for this particular keyword. And this is very powerful information because now you can actually see the average position of this keyword for all of the different sources. And then we use an internal um, equation that I created that gives you an overall keyword rank score. I made it really simple. Um, I made it so that it goes from zero to 100. And 100 is going to be the best score. So I figured that'd be the easiest to understand. And so here we go. Let's like work through here real quickly. So the idea behind getting these positions is, um, if you think about it, um, if this particular keyword phrase is going to show up in position one through all these different sources, that indicates that that's a very popular keyword that people are typing in to the search engines for those particular sources. And another thing I do want to mention is, is these keywords are coming directly from these e-commerce sources and not from Google. You see, when uh, people have a different sort of uh, thought process when they go through the ordering or buying things online. Most people in general will go to Google to find more information about a particular product, for example, like a barbecue grill. But when they're done their decision of what they want to buy, they'll actually end up going to Amazon, eBay, Target, or Walmart, and that's where they actually make the buying decision. So it's really important you get the keywords from the proper source of where people are making that buying decision instead of just doing the research decision. So there's a big difference there. So that's why this software is very powerful and we've developed this unique algorithm that will determine how sort of um, targeted are these keywords in relation to how much people are searching them on um, these different uh, websites here. All right, just after pausing the video there, it found 946 keywords from all of these sources. So definitely have a, a lot of really awesome data here. So let me just quickly go through all the main features here. So after you do a search, it's always a good idea to save your data. So clicking this button up here, the save button, you can save it to a project file. Now a project file can only be opened by the AMA Keyword Generator version five. So let's go ahead and save this and it will ask you to save it. The location, let's just call this um, barbecue-grilling-1. Save it there, It'll open up anytime you want in the future. So let's go ahead and sort by score. And now we can see all the high 
highly scored keywords. And now this is where you want to be concentrating your actual research within these keywords. So now we can um, investigate a little bit further into these different types of keywords. Let's take a look at one here like barbecue cover for example. Now we can right click and we can do all sorts of cool stuff. So we can copy the selected keywords, copy all the keywords or copy just the um, selected items, meaning like if you selected something like that, it copy all the ones you've selected. There's also a bunch of filters, I'll get into that in just a second, but I want to show you um, how you can get more information about this particular keyword. So let's go back to the barbecue cover and go to Google and we can search Google for that particular product. So we can go up, we can go through here, we can check out different um, prices and things like that. We can also right click and see the view, view the Google Trends. So it'll take you right to the Google Trends and you can see the trend of this. This is actually a really good trend. This seems to be increasing over time. You got other um, awesome information down here. I think it shows extra keywords in different countries and things like that. Looks like it's taking its time there. Oh, there it was. Additional keywords you can look into. We've also integrated this right into the software. So you can just double click and you'll see a little um, iframe graph come up here shortly and it will show you that same thing and you can also click this link to bring you straight to that other uh, same page so it's a different way of showing it so you simply double click each keyword and it will come up and show you the trend you can also do some quick filters at the very top here you can filter each column by using the uh, quick filters so just click this little here and you have this drop down where you can select whatever you want. Let's say you just want to see all the scores that are greater than 80 and boom. It will also highlight the column so you can see that the whole column is highlighted this sort of orangey color. You can do that with any other column as well. Let's say you want to see something like that. Now if you want to clear out the filters all you have to do is click this little filter button down here. I can't get into, get into view here. Then you can go delete filters like that. Now if you actually want to see the filters, you can click show filters like this and this will just kind of hover over top and as soon as you add a quick filter, it will be added here. You can also add the filters in here if you like. You just click the add button and then in the first column you just select the actual column you want to do some filtering on. You can even filter the keyword and the seed columns if you'd like. Let's say we just did, uh, on, let's say target and I want to go greater than you can do all these different sorts of comparison uh, greater than uh, let's see, 2 apply something like that now you can also remove all the filters from in here as well another handy thing too is you can actually save your filter files so let's say for example you always wanted to have a greater score than 80 there and you want the um, see Amazon you always want that less than 3 they say that's a particular filter combination you like to use all the time. You can save this filter. And let's just remove these filters here and let's um, click uh, cancel there. And so say at a later time you want to do this really quickly, all you have to do is go click the filter button, load filters, grab that and boom, it completely does it for you. And again, you can just delete out the filters. So it's pretty simple to use. And saving the data. You can also save it to different formats, CSV, text, and you can also do um, a interactive HTML file if you'd like as well. And in the control settings down here, you can actually preview all these keywords in that interactive file that I just mentioned. So it just opens it up into your web browser and you can actually sort, you can actually search as well in here, it's instant search. So it's a cool little report that you can use for um, your own research or possibly if you like to sell these reports, you can do that as well. And again, to save that report, you just go right click and save export to interactive HTML file. That's in essence exactly what that preview file was. You also have an instant search feature in here as well. So you can go, um, you, can, you can do this in the filtering as well. This just makes it a little simpler. Click instant search and as you type, like if you want to type barbecue, it's going to search within the keyword um, column instantly as you type. So say you're only interested in gloves. So boom, just like that. 
So that's what that feature will do. Another really handy feature you can do as well is when you're saving, underneath saving or the open, you'll see these two extra little fields down here, open last working folder. Uh, this is handy when you go to save a project file or a text file or something like that and you simply forget where you save it. I do that all the time. So I decided to integrate these two features in here. So if you click that, this goes directly to the last place we just saved our files. So whatever file we were working on, opening or closing or whatever we're doing, it'll go right back to that, that exact place. Another handy feature that I like is sometimes, say I was working in a, in a completely different hard drive somewhere and I, I didn't want to work there anymore. I want to go back to where the software was actually installed and work in that directory. And so I've added this new one here, open install folder. So this will go right to where the software is installed on your computer and now you can do whatever you want here. A lot, a lot of times what I like doing is I actually create an, another folder in here. So I just right click and um, I can see that there, right click create new folder and I can call this whatever you want saved data or something like that and then when I'm working on my computer and I go to save this project file I can go to save data and save it here and then when you go back to my last working folder it'll automatically go right where I was working so just a few extra features I've integrated in there that makes things a lot easier and over here you do have uh, copy paste and clear just simple stuff so like if you want to copy the information all these keywords you put in here you can copy it to your clipboard and you know paste it to a file if you want let's say you have a bunch of keywords in here like that and you copy that to your clipboard you can come in here and go paste and I'll paste it in and you can also clear it out pretty basic controls these two little buttons here help you um, uncheck everything check it or if you want the software will remember so if you uncheck say you only want it have US, Amazon, and eBay. It'll remember when you close it down and start it back up, it will have those ones selected, so that's kind of handy. A few more features up here. You can go, always take a look at the help videos, members login, the software updates, get the latest updates there, our Facebook group, our page, and then we also have the settings. The settings are a little advanced. I'll be recording a separate video for the actual settings so you can understand them um, better, but you, uh, you don't have to change those, those advanced settings if you don't like, but I'll provide a different video to show you how to use those settings. So that's pretty much everything. I just really want to get you quickly started on how to use the AMA um, Keyword Generator tool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.